So this machine is the XO Plus, and it's the North American debut of this machine. So it's the first time we're introducing it to the public here. And on the machine, the sensor is a PH10M with a SP25 scanning probe head. This CMM with this probe head is able to scan the part. If you can imagine, it's measuring one of these circles. It can put the stylus on the material and then take the form of that circle taking up to thousands of points. With a touch trigger probe, you take maybe four points and inscribe a circle. With scanning, you get the, a more precise size of the hole, plus you get form data as well. So in general, when you can, scanning is usually faster and it collects more data. One of the great things about the XO Plus with this probe head is it's a Wenzel frame. As the machine is measuring the part, it's, the head is in constant contact with the part, so you need a frame that's rigid and can allow a platform for the scanning to take place without any deviations or shaking or what have you. Uh, as you can see, it takes a little bit of time and you have to touch the part. So maybe if you were scanning, let's say, a, a material like beryllium where you can't physically touch it, then this type of technology would not be very useful. Price difference. For non-contact scanning, again, it might acquire more points and might move faster, but then you have this price differential. So what we did at the open house is with one part on all these different technologies, we let the user see what the difference is and what the advantages and disadvantages of each of the technologies are while measuring the same part.